Ever since the first Gold Diggers production thrilled the world with its music and magnificence, the word Gold Diggers has set a standard of brilliance unexcelled in the annals of the screen. Here is a scene from the first of the series, Gold Diggers of Broadway, which started the world singing tiptoe through the tulips and painting the clouds with sunshine. In 1933, an up-and-coming young star by the name of Dick Powell joined with Ruby Keeler to give you Gold Diggers in 1933. With those sensational musical numbers, we're in the money, My Forgotten Man, and the unforgettable Shadow Waltz. Then came Gold Diggers of 1935, another star-studded hit with a song that won the Motion Picture Academy Award for the finest musical number of the year, The Lullaby of Broadway. Now Warner Brothers have massed their entire production resources, their creative and star talent, into a Gold Diggers that tops the tops adding new glory to an already glorified title. With your old friends Dick Powell and Joan Bondell, the screen's most popular love team. Glenda Farrell and Victor Moore. With Lee Dixon, a sensational new singing and dancing discovery. Rosalind Marquis and Irene Ware. And the most dazzling collection of gold-digging heart stealers that ever graced a screen. It opens a new avenue of entertainment in the grandest, gayest, greatest of all the great gold diggers pictures. Speaking of the weather, good old weather, ain't it lovely weather, and incidentally, I love you. Help. Help. Not so loud. Help. Help. Come on, Rossi. If I kiss you, would you call Andy? Not unless you want to kiss him, too. That's for me. That's for you. Uh, how much are the cake? Five dollars. Six for twenty-five. I'll take six. <laughs> now then. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's the matter? Oh, I've never been kissed like that in all my life. Oh, well. <laughs> Be sunny with plenty of money and you. 